Nightbox Swift Pro is a digital night vision device with a wide viewing angle and the ability to record 1080p footage. It comes with a head strap mount and a helmet mount for hands-free operation and its unique dual LEDs give you the option to stay undetected or boost the range up to 130 meters. In the box you'll find a carry case containing the Nightbox Swift 2 Pro, a manual, a neck strap, a USB-C cable, a head strap and mount, and a dovetail helmet mount. So let's get started. To turn on the device, long press the power button until the viewing screen illuminates. This battery symbol on the viewing screen shows the level of charge left in the device. To charge the battery, plug the provided USB-C cable into a USB port. This could be on your laptop or computer or a phone charger. The USB port can be found above the eyepiece. When the Swift 2 is charging, progress is shown through the green battery icon on the screen. You can also use a portable bank to keep the Swift powered up when you're out at night. Next to the USB port is the card slot. The Swift 2 Pro comes with a micro SD card already installed. Videos will save automatically onto it. If you need to eject the card, simply press it in until it springs out. This icon indicates that no SD card has been installed. To insert the card, push it back in until it clicks. This icon shows that the SD card has now been installed. Short press the record button to record footage. This icon will appear at the top of the screen when you are recording. The length of the recording is shown here. Short press again to stop recording. To view the footage on the device, long press the menu button. Use the up and down buttons to scroll through your videos. To access the SD card menu, short press the menu button whilst in this mode. Use the up and down buttons to scroll through the options and press OK to play or delete individual videos or to delete them all in one go. To download the footage, use the USB-C cable again and insert it into a USB port on your computer. In Windows, navigate to your file explorer. Your videos will appear in a folder for you to import. To quickly adjust the IR, exposure and backlight levels whilst on the main screen, short press the power button. This icon and red text indicate which feature is currently selected. Use the up and down buttons to adjust the values of each feature. When IR is highlighted, you can switch from daylight mode to night by pressing the up button. This will automatically switch to IR0 or lunar sight. Use lunar sight if there is some ambient light or you're using an external infrared flashlight such as the Nightfox XB5. The Swift 2 will start picking up infrared light without turning on its own infrared LEDs. Continue to press the up and down buttons to scroll through the five levels of IR brightness. The Swift 2 uses two infrared LEDs, 940 nanometer for stealth and 850 for range. Its default setting uses 940 for IR levels 1 to 3 and 850 for IR levels 4 and 5. Press the zoom button to operate three times magnification. To focus the image manually, turn the wheel located beneath the lens. From the main screen, long press the menu button twice to bring up the settings menu. This mode allows you to reconfigure your Nightbox for optimal performance. Use the up and down buttons to scroll through the menu and the OK button to choose an option. Night filter. Choose to enable a green screen filter during nighttime use. IR settings. This is where you can change the default settings of the dual LEDs to work exclusively with one wavelength or to disable them completely. Auto hide. This option allows you to turn off all icons on screen whilst in video mode. The icons will disappear after no button has been touched for three seconds. Format SD card. This option allows you to delete all files currently on the micro SD card. Power save. Set the device to power off after a period of non-use. Date and time. To change the date and time on your device, simply use the up and down buttons to choose an option and OK to highlight it. Use the up and down buttons again to adjust and OK to save. Press the menu button at any time to return to the settings menu. Flicker. The device will arrive with the correct setting for your geographical area. Date and time tag. Choose whether a date and time stamp will be visible on your recorded videos. Factory Reset. Restores all settings to factory defaults. 
and version shows the current firmware version. Occasionally you may need to reset the Swift manually if the software crashes for example. The reset button can be found next to the USB port. To activate it you can insert a pencil or a pin and the device will switch off. To attach the head strap, slot the head strap mount onto the top of the Swift and screw it in tightly. Then attach the included head strap and screw that in tightly. The dovetail helmet mount is attached in the same way. To attach the included neck strap, ensure the plastic fastener is right side up. Feed the strap from outside in through the tether points on each side of the device. Create some slack by pulling the strap upwards in the middle of the plastic fastener. This will create a loop. Pull both sides tightly to fix down the strap in the fastener. To turn the device off, long press the power button.